Here we are again, tip top engineering and for all your Fraser Nash fans we've got another one. Yes it's, this is my brother's car actually, it's a 1929 Fraser Nash and it's a bit of a landmark car because it was the very first one to be fitted with the Meadows engine so it's a Meadows 4ED one and a half litre engine and we've done a lot of work on this one. It arrived running actually but uh, with a very ugly 60s body um, and a few details that we didn't like so we got rid of the body and commissioned this new one which is very much sort of super sports shape um, and of course we've got the Meadows engine in and my brother's arrived to hear it run for the first time ever so it's quite an exciting moment it's not finished yeah. we've still got to I mean it's dusted because that's how it is in the workshop it needs a wash off the front wings are ready to fit um, it's been wired by uh, Dave Aston and Winston Teague um, and so it's in the closing stages shall we say so battery on and ignition on the chances of a car starting are inversely proportional to the number of people watching so <laughs> considering this is going on facecloth it probably won't start <laughs> but there we are do you want to choke it for us Jack? Yeah. I've got to learn where all the switches are. That's the starter there. So ignition with that one, Rich. Mm -hmm. uh, battery isolator there, obviously. And you've got a <coughs> photograph of this Richard as well. Uh, I see it. Yeah. yeah. So Richard's found this photograph with the, this actual car in what in 1930? 1930, a Land's End so, Trial. Yeah. Yeah. So how good is that? Yeah. Note the, get, note the size of the crowd and the proximity yeah. to the action of the crowd. <coughs> like we said, it's it's a bit like the rallying in the 80s with everybody standing that close. Yeah. That's brilliant, that just makes yeah. it, doesn't it, really? Yeah. Very good. We've sprung an oil leak, there we go. <laughs> That's all you'll be having for now. 